Hello, I hope you guys are all doing great. This is the nail art design we'll be working on today. Let's get started. I'm going to begin this design by adding a white French tip manicure. The reason I do this is so that the colors I add will look a lot brighter. I'm going to be using white acrylic paint for my French manicure, but white nail polish will work just fine. I'm going to be using this brush brand and size to outline my French manicure. I'm going to begin low on the sides, rounding them off, coming in towards the center. Now I want to start evenly on the other side. I'm just eyeballing it and I'm going to start doing the same thing. This is the brush brand and size I'm going to be using to fill in my French manicure and this is what the tip looks like. As you can see there, the French manicure is not a perfect application, but all we wanted is a little bit of that white in the background. Next, I'm going to be using this nail polish color by OPI, and this one's called Titan Your Toga. I'm going to be adding the Titan Your Toga color coming in sideways. The following colors I'm going to be adding for my Sherbert Marble is this pink one by Apple Barrel. This one's called Pink Glow in the Dark. This green one by Americana, it's called Thermal Green. And this orange one by Apple Barrel called Neon Orange. I'm going to begin by adding white over the entire white area where we applied the acrylic paint. So I'm just dabbing it on so it could be nice and fresh. Now I'm going to move over to the pink acrylic paint and I'm just going to begin marbling just adding it to the section and just marbling it in and it's okay if we go a little bit over to the beige polished area so I'm just doing that sort of thing next I'm going to move over to the orange and I'm going to be adding that orange removing excess and I'm just going to begin blending it in with the white and the pink just like you would see in a sherbet orange sherbet ice cream now I'm going to move over to the green and we're going to do the same exact thing now using a dark brown color I'm just going to begin painting the stripes Now I'm going to begin adding the lines coming in the opposite way. The gold glitter paint I'm going to be using is by Folkart and it's number 2786. In between the little squares I've created I'm going to be adding dots of the gold paint. I'm also going to be outlining my French manicure with a gold paint. Using red paint, I'm going to add two circles. These are going to be my cherries. Now I'm going to add a little white detail over the right top area of each of my cherries. Using the green paint, I'm going to add a little stem. Now I'm just going to connect the second one to the first one. On the top of my cherry, I'm just going to add a little black dip on both of them. All you have left to do is to apply your top coat sealing in your design. Now let's move over to the ring finger part of this nail art design. 
Now I'm going to begin working on the cone. I'm going to begin by painting a V shape in a beige color. Over the top area I'm going to be adding the white paint and this is just going to help us marble in the sherbet part of the ice cream. So I'm just adding that white over the area that I plan to marble with the three colors. The first color I'm going to start with is going to be the pink. Just going to marble that area in. Next I'm going to be marbling in the orange. And as I'm moving along, if I see that I need a little more, I'll just dip my brush into a little more. And the last color I'm going to be adding is going to be the green one. And just going to marble that in as well. Now I'm going to paint the sideways stripes of the cone in a dark brown color. Now I'm going to cross the stripes the opposite way. In between my little squares, I'm going to be adding a dot of the gold paint. Over the top of my sherbet ice cream, I'm going to be adding a second scoop of vanilla. Now using some dark brown, I'm going to add a little bit of melted chocolate. I'm going to add a couple of green dots over the chocolate area. also a couple of pink ones. Over the top I'm going to paint a round circle. This is going to be the cherry on top. Now I'm going to add a little white detail to the top of the cherry. A tiny little black dip. And a green little stem. Over the chocolate area, I'm going to add a little bit of the gold glitter. This goes on opaque and it dries clear. Now that my top coat's completely dry, I'm adding a dot of the glue, of the nail glue, and I'm using my finger to place the eye because if I use top coat to pick up the eye, it'll really dull it out. So now I'm going to add another little dot over this area. Now I'm just going to paint a tiny little smiley face. And that's it. That's how you're going to get this fun LR design done. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and try out this fun LR design using your favorite colors. Be safe and I'll see you next time. Bye!